It's your turn to do the dishes, Matt. I should be back from class around 10 o'clock. We're going up for pizza after the hockey game. We'll be back about 11. Love you. Come on, I want to go too. <laughs> it's a school night. It's a school night for Greg. Well, Greg's 17 and you're 12. Oh, Greg, don't forget your coat. I'm fine. Greg, please. All right. Please keep it down. I'm sorry, honey. I gotta make a call. What? How come she gets her own private line and I don't? Talk to me in three years. Oh, that's not Let fair. Let to another room. It's a zoo around here. Hi, Deb. Listen, I'm just leaving. I'll be there in about five minutes. Okay. Bye-bye. Mom? What is it, honey? I'm in a hurry. I was wondering if I could move my room to the attic. Where'd you get that idea? Well... Just my room's so small, and I'll get more privacy up in the attic. No, honey, don't be ridiculous. It's out of the question. But why? I said no. That's not fair. How come I never get anything I want? Greg gets to stay out late. Pam gets her own phone line. Look, honey, I know it's frustrating, but you won't be 12 forever. Pretty soon you'll be able to do everything your brother and sister are doing. I don't want to be 12. I hate being the youngest. Sorry, that's the way it is. That's reality, Matt. If you want anything, ask your sister. You know, being grown up isn't always so easy. Be glad you're 12. Well, I'm not glad. <sighs> going. You know something? I don't care what anyone says. I'm hanging out here tonight. Not old enough. Like, what's gonna happen? Exactly. Nothing. That's reality, Mash. Reality. Who needs it? I hate it. No, it's not yours. How come he gets his own private line and I don't? Talk to me when you make the all-star team. Good morning, champ. Mwah. It was a great game last night. You don't have to rub it in. What are you talking about? We played a great game. It's for you. For me? Isn't it always? Hello? Yeah, this is Matt Amsterdam. Indoors? Endorse what? You want to put my pitcher on a cereal box? Quit calling the house. 
No, I told you guys all endorsement offers go through Matt's agent. Come on, let's go. What? Come on, it's game time! Truth is stranger than fiction. That's, That's reality. reality. Nothing so strange as fiction. That's reality. My agent's on the job. That's reality. Life is on the road. That's reality. The only real truth is that of the mind. So my body part of food with reality. What's all this hockey stuff? Oh, look, honey. I know you're worried about the game tonight. Sure, the Panthers are tough. But when you're leading the league in goals, you're a target. You've got to take the game to a higher level. A higher level? 110%, Matt. You've got to take it to 110%. The whole city's counting on you. For what? I don't even play on. It's a friend of me. Got that right, kid. You don't belong here. <laughs> Get away with it, kid. They never learn, do they? Learn what? What I do? I'm not a pro hockey player. I'm a kid. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you know if my mother's still here? What's that he said? He wants his mommy. Your mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Amsterdam. There you are. The rest of the surgical team is waiting for you. We're all set, doctor. <sighs> doctor? I'm not a doctor. You'll have to slip this on. Quickly. Oh, doctor, you're going to have to take off your hockey skates. I'll get the left foot. There you go. Quickly, doctor. The patient's baby. There's been a mistake. I'm not a doctor. It's true. You're a genius. The most brilliant brain surgeon in the world. Ready for surgery, Doctor. Surgery? Yes, the president is under anesthesia and ready to be operated on. The president? Yes. As you can see, the growth is in a particularly delicate area of the brain. Now, if the operation is successful, the president will be perfectly fine, but uh, one small slip and... Please, Doctor. The whole world's counting on you.
ready. Start cutting. Dr. Amsterdam, what are you waiting for? We have to operate now. We, we must, must operate. operate. Start, Start the cutting now. now. There's, There's no, no more time. time. Why won't you cut? Come with us. Let's go. Seconds. This bomb is gonna explode. Okay. Which wire do I cut? Um, uh, I don't know. Seconds. <gasps> Come on. Which wire? You got me. I don't know anything about bombs. <laughs> that is Matt Amsterdam. <laughs> Moments away from getting blown to shreds. <laughs> he still has time for a joke. <laughs> Six seconds. Which, which one? I told you, I don't know anything about bombs. I'm a kid. Which wire? Come on, which wire? Who are you guys? 
What? You want our badge numbers? He told you, man. We're the reality police. No, I mean, what do you want with me? Where am I? He wants to know where he is. <laughs> I'll tell you where you are. You're in trouble. Defendant, please rise. Defendant? You back you, Joseph Amsterdam, are charged with crimes against reality. How do you plead? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Silence! How do you plead? Well, not guilty. I'll be the judge of that. But I didn't do anything. You weren't happy being the youngest in your family. You didn't act them the way things were. But I... Silence! Roll the videotape. Reality, who needs it? I hate reality. Reality, who needs it? I hate reality. Is that you on that videotape? Yes, but... Silence! You are hereby charged with violation! of subjects in C, paragraph 7 of the Universal Penal Code! Crimes against reality! I, I promise I, I won't do it again. I, I like my reality. You should have thought of that before. No, please, I accept my reality. It's not so bad. It's too late. Do you want to hear the decision? Yes. I mean, no. Silence! You are out of order! Your crimes against reality. You are hereby bound. Guilty! Guilty? Guilty! Guilty! <laughs> you are guilty! Guilty, guilty, guilty! Guilty, guilty, guilty! <laughs> Mom, I thought I told you to stay out of there. Come on down right now. Huh? Have you been up there the whole time I was gone? I fell asleep and I had the worst dream. Oh, hi, Mom. Oh, it's just my mom. It was horrible. Everyone was trying to make me do things that were way too hard for a kid. Didn't you even notice Matt was up in the attic the whole time I was gone? Uh, I guess not. I don't know. My brother was up in the and attic. There were these men chasing me. These men in black. So I and, and then the reality really judge sentenced guy. me. And mom, are you listening to me? Yes, honey. I'm sorry. You had a bad dream. Listen, Matt, I've been thinking. Maybe you are old enough to move your room up into the attic. If that's what you really want to do, it's okay with me. Gosh, I don't know. I thought that's what you wanted. Well, I did. You know what? I think I'm going to stay out of the attic from now on. Okay, that's what you want. It is. And you know what? What? Life is good just the way it is. I think I'm going to go to bed in my own room now. Hold on a second. Didn't you leave some things up there? I guess, yeah. Well, bring them down before you go to bed. I don't want to go back up there. Hurry up. And as for you, young lady. It's just a dream, Matt. It's just a dream. Back to reality. It's good old, boring reality. Boring? Oh, Matt, the fun's just beginning.
Thank you.